Hello friends. In this part, we will learn how to display sender user is typing in chat box and display this notification to receiver user at user list. In previous part, we have seen how to display user is online or offline in this chat application. Now we want to display user is type in chat box. This feature we can see in WhatsApp's Messenger app. For make this feature, first we have go to database login data table, and here we have add two column like is type and receiver ID. If sender user try to type something, then in is type column value will be changed to yes, and in receiver ID, we will store user ID to whom sender user has send message. Now, we have go to chatview.php file, and here we have go to load chat user function. Here we have write output variable, and in this we have append HTML code like span tag with ID is equal to type notification. And for make unique ID value, here we have write data count index dot receiver ID, so it will make unique ID value for this span tag, under this tag. We will display if message sender user is type something in chat box, then receiver user can see sender user has typed something with his or her name at user list. Next we have go to check chat notification function, and in this function, we have add receiver ID variable as argument. Under this function, we have write is type variable is equal to no as value. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write receiver ID variable value is greater than zero, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have again write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar dot trim function. And under this function, we have write dollar with division tag id chat message area with text method is not equal to blank this condition will check user is type something in chat box then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write is type variable value is equal to yes now we want to send this variable value has been sent with AJAX request. So in data option, we have defined both variable value. Next we have go to this function AJAX request success function. And under this function we have go to this if block of code. In which user status is online. So. Under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write data count index dot is type variable value is equal to yes. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id type notification with data count index dot user id with html method and under this method we have write typing text so this text will be seen to chat message receiver user
but suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write span tag id type notification, with data count index dot user with html method, and under this method we have write blank value, it will remove typing text from this tag. Suppose user online status is offline. For this we have go to else block of code. And here also we have write span tag id type notification. With data count index dot user with html method. And under this method we have write blank value. It will remove typing text from this tag. So, here our jQuery code is ready. Now we have go to chat controller class, and here we have go to check chat notification function. Under this function, we have to go update login data model class method. So we have go to model class. In this method, we have define is type variable and receiver ID variable data in this dollar data array. So, here in second key we have write is type table column name, and in value we have write dollar post is type variable. In third key, we have write receiver user ID, and in value we have write dollar post receiver id variable value. So, is type and receiver id variable value will be updated in database every time, when login data will be updated. After this, again we have again go to check chat notification function. And here we have defined dollar is type variable is equal to blank value. Next we have go to this if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar is type variable is equal to dollar this with chat model class with check type notification method with two argument like dollar sender id variable and dollar receiver id variable value now we have again go to chat model class and here we have make check type notification function with two argument like dollar sender id and dollar receiver id variable under this function we have write dollar this with database class object, with where method with two argument, in first argument we have write receiver user id table column, and in second argument we have write dollar receiver id variable. Next, we have again write dollar this, with database class object, with where method with two argument, in first argument we have write user id table column, and in second argument we have write dollar sender id variable, this method will add where condition in select query. Below this, we have write dollar query variable is equal to dollar this, with database class object, with get method, and under this we have write login data table name. This method will make select query and execute it. After this, we have write for each loop. And under condition, we have write dollar query variable with result method as dollar row variable. By using this method, it will fetch data from query execution. Under this loop, we have write return statement, with dollar row with is type table column name, 
which return user is type in chat box or not. This is output of this function. Now we have go to chat controller class and go to check chat notification method here in dollar output array variable. We have add new key with name is type and in value we have write dollar is type variable. So this data will be sent to Ajax request in JSON format. So here our code is ready for display sender user is type something in chat box or not. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here in this browser, we have login as John Martin Google account. So first we have refresh web page. And in second browser, we have login as Adonis Martin Google account. Both user can chat with each other. And here we can see John Martin is online in this chat application. Now we have go to John Martin account. And here we have type something in chat box. And go to Adonis Martin browser. So, here we can see at John Martin user in user list. We can see typing text has been up here. That means John Martin is type something in chat box. Same way here Adonis Martin account. And he has typed something in chat box. Now we have go to John Martin account. And here with Adonis Martin name. We can see typing text has been up here. That means Adonis Martin is also type something. Now we have removed text from chat box from this John Martin account. And again go to Adonis Martin account. So here we can see that typing text has been removed from John Martin. So in this part, here we have add this typing notification feature in this chat application. So both user can know who has typed something in chat box. In next part, we will discuss how user can share images.